So hello everybody, welcome to Babylon. I heard everybody singing, and it just made me really happy. You were singing praises to the one true God, who indeed is worthy of our praises. But also hearing you sing just really made me homesick. I can see you're not from Babylon based on the way you're dressed, but I'm also not from Babylon as well. Uh, Israel is where I'm from, the tribe of Judah, which is very far from here, where we, where we are staying right now. Uh, what happened is Babylon took over, and uh, we had to leave with my people and we were to their land. So I had my three friends whose names were changed. Um, and imagine having to be taken away from your home, your family, having your name changed. So, so for example, Hananiah, his name was changed to Shadrach. My name was changed to Belteshazzar. We had Mishael, who was changed to Meshach. And Azariah, who was changed to Abednego. Now imagine if you were in my shoes, I mean sandals, what would that be like? Would you be sad, scared, angry? I know I was because I lost my people and my family. And just not really having that around me, it just once again just made it really sad. So uh, being captive, that was really just the, the biggest change. And so what I want you to know is when things change, God is with you. Now, one thing is that my faith in God did not change through that. They took away my home, my family, and everything else, but once again, my faith in God did not change. So there was a bit of a problem, though, with my faith in God. They really wanted to have us do some training as servants, and part of that training was eating the food from the palace, the ones that were sacrificed to the idols, but we knew that God would not be happy with that. So we made a choice. We are not going to eat this. So I went to my friend Ashpenaz for help. Did I just hear my name? Did someone just say my name? Uh, yeah, I was just talking to my friends here about the problem at the palace with the food. Shh, don't say anything about that, come on. Well, I, I thought you were here to congratulate me. Oh, that's right, yes, I am here to congratulate you, but uh, these guys don't look like they know what you're talking about. Haven't you told them about what happened yet? Well, I was about to, when someone burst into the room and interrupted me. Where? Who? Well, ah, never mind, it looks like they're gone now. Hey, you know what, since I am chief of staff, oh, my card. Since I am chief of staff, how about I tell the story? Yeah. All right. Well, yours truly over there didn't want to eat the king's food. And to put it bluntly, I was a little bit scared of the king myself. He might kill me if these guys got sick or something. That would be terrible. So Daniel said, well, why don't you test us for 10 days? And just feed us vegetables and water. And then see how we look. So I decided that would be fine. And today is day 11. And so... Uh, congratulations, we compared you and your friends to the other young men that we have around, and compared to them, you know what, you guys are very healthy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look, Ashpenaz, I have some vegetables here for you. Oh, those look different. Oh, oh, how can you eat that? Oh, I'm going to be sick. Oh, oh, someone give me some bacon. Well, I guess Ashpenaz didn't like vegetables. Oh, well. But the thing we need to remember here, even when we're in a faraway place and things change, God is with you. So, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for coming out. Farewell from Babylon.